Okay, let me know if my screen is visible. You can anyone confirm if my screen is visible? Okay, thank you. Okay, okay, guys, let's get it started. Yesterday, we were discussing about the hash code method and the two string method. Okay, so the discussion was very simple. So, uh, when I say hash code, hash code is going to return what? Hash code is going to return an integer value. Okay, when you invoke hash code method, it is going to return an integer value. Okay, but uh, you know uh, when you invoke two string method, it is going to return an integer value which is called as an hash code. Internally, that hash code will get converted into hexadecimal value. Okay, the hash code will be converted into hexadecimal value, and the class name and the other rate symbol will be prefixed. Okay, that's why whenever you are calling the uh, reference variable in the system dot out dot printer and statement, you get you get such a value that the value is going to be like a class name followed by other rate symbol and the hexadecimal value of generated hash code. Okay, these are the internal methods. These methods are part of object class. What is an object class? Object class is a predefined class. Okay, what is a two string method? Two string method is one of the methods in the object class. Hash code is one of the methods in the object class. Okay, for each and every object, or for each and every object, the hash code is going to be generated uniquely. The code is going to be unique in the form of integer value. Okay, uh, people uh, who uh, who did not attend extra days class, you can repeat this video once again. You will get much clarity. Okay, so these are the things uh, that the JVM is going to do when you invoke the reference variable when you try to print the reference variable to print the reference value to print what to print reference value okay, these are the steps that will be followed by the jvm okay an object is created the jvm is going to generate an hash code first internally two string method will be called which depends upon the hash code okay after getting the hash code is going to what and a unique integer reference value will be generated and will be assigned to the reference variable which indeed gets stored stored in the stack area okay and uh, the value that is stored in the stack area will be assigned to that reference variable and that's why we are getting a reference value in the form of class name at the rate symbol followed by the hexadecimal value okay so this is the explanation of this was the program yesterday Okay. So if you see we are trying to access the reference variable when you try to access the reference variable of an object reference value will be printed how reference value will be printed these are the steps okay so today the topic is going to be on top of uh, constructors i can say that constructors in java we are going to discuss about these constructors uh, in the for the next three classes this topic i have simplified this topic okay and try to focus here try to uh, pay some attention i will ensure that you are uh, what 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 i can say i can ensure that you are you are able to answer any questions on top of constructors in any interview i will give you that guarantee okay so shall we get it started are we good Say something, let's keep the session interactive. Shall we proceed with the constructors? Okay, okay. Okay. So the definition of the constructor, okay. We will learn firstly the definition of the constructor. Then we will I will I am going to justify that defi definition by implementing or by preparing some practical problems. Okay. So the definition of the constructor says usually the, when when someone is asking you about what is a constructor. The answer is very straightforward. A constructor is a block of codes which is similar to methods. It is similar to Java methods. Okay. However, 
it is similar but not same it is similar to java methods but it is not same okay so uh, so there is a contrast here the contradiction is it does not have any return type okay first contradiction it is just like a method but the constructor cannot have any return type okay so whenever an object is created for a particular class the constructor will be called the i mean uh, the what we call it as uh, the constructor will be called okay at the time of calling the constructor okay the memory will be allocated okay if you look at the theory okay there are so many things which is uh, uh, which is not giving much clarity okay so let me prepare a small java program so let us keep the name of the class as a itself okay so i have a class a so i have a class a here okay so this is my class and let me take two variables inside this class so integer a equal to 100 okay the second variable is float b equal to 10.1 by f okay i have two variables okay so these two variables they always uh, you know they are also called as properties they are also called as a properties of a class or else you can assume it like a data you have two set of data one data is of integer type the second set of data is of float type right so you have a class inside this class you have property and you have a behavior so this is what behavior is also called as methods so we have one main method and we have two two variables right so if i want to create an object for the class a what is the uh, you know uh, what is how, how the syntax can be substituted so class name obj equal to new a right so this is the object creation we know this already we have been discussing about the object creation for the last three classes yes or no right so what is happening behind the scenes we also know that what is happening behind the scenes okay but in context with my explanation if you see a constructor is a block of code which is similar to java method okay here if you see we we don't we don't see any constructor here we are blind to see the constructor but when you compile this program internally so many things will happen compiler is going to add so many things okay, let's see that what kind of uh, you know how the compilation is going to be proceeded by considering the by considering the java code which we have just prepared okay so what is really happening behind the scenes is so this is our java code guys so this is our java code okay you want to give this to the compiler why you want to give this to the compiler so compiler is going to check whether this code is code has any errors if it if it, if it does not have any errors it will be good for the execution the compiler will commit the picture okay what compiler will do compiler will do some changes a lot of changes okay the same code first compiler will look for the access modifier okay it has found that the developer has not specified any access modifier so it is going to do what it is going to add a default keyword yes or no default keyword will be added by the compiler secondly so the name of the class is class a class a is not extending to any class programmer has not mentioned any extends keyword next to the class so the compiler will do what it is going to extend the class to the object class okay so the things that i am writing in red are the things that is actually added by the compiler okay before the compilation these things will be added by the compiler okay so these two these two things are done the third thing is it is also going to add what a default constructor 
it is going to check whether the programmer has prepared any constructor or whether the programmer has placed any constructor or not okay programmatically the programmer did not place any constructor here okay so the compiler is going to add a default constructor when i say constructor let us go back to the theory once again okay the constructor is a block code okay see uh, similar to the java method okay so there are ru two rules to define a constructor there are three rules to define a constructor there are three rules to define a java constructor first let's see the rules then we will apply these rules in the program okay constructors okay so rule number one the constructor name should be same as the class name constructor name should be same same as the class name second rule a constructor can't have any explicit return type explicit return type so Return types are uh, like uh, void, int, float, uh, all the primitive data types are also called as return types. You can use those data types in the return type column, especially for the methods. Okay. When you talk about the constant constructor concept, you really don't use return types. Now that's what this line means. Okay. Third one is third one is a constructor cannot be. on the so you can have a static method but you cannot have static constructor okay you can have abstract method so we will see these methods in the future topics but you cannot have abstract constructor you can have final methods but you cannot have final constructor and the methods can be synchronized but you cannot have synchronized so these are the rules you must follow these rules when you are designing a java constructor okay what the first rule constructor name should be same as the class name okay here the question is when you don't place any constructor compiler is going to place a default constructor okay so when i say default constructor it is also a constructor so it should be same as the class name what is the name of the class here a right so the constructor name will also be a right opening parenthesis and the closing parenthesis okay and a block so go back to the theory the theory says a constructor is a block of course which is similar to java method block of course forget about course constructor is a block so when i say block it should be the opening parenthesis and the closing parenthesis right it's up to you it's up to us to place the instructions or to place the course inside this block it's up to us okay uh, so uh, in our in our program which which we have just prepared especially when you look at this program program i i did not place any constructor if you don't place any constructor compiler is going to place the constructor so if you look at this three content okay this is placed by compiler this is also placed by compiler this is also placed by compiler when you don't take when you don't take care of these things this will be taken care by the compiler automatically this is the job of the compiler if you have placed the things here no issues if you don't place compiler will compiler is going to place this, place these things in this organizer fashion okay so this part is called as what default constructor okay so this part which we are talking about is what default constructor so why default constructor because it is placed by the compiler that's why it is called as what default constructor called as default constructor why default constructor since it is placed by the compiler compiler it is called as default okay so now now what really happens compiler has placed all these things now it will perform the compilation okay so after placing all these things this file will be compiled successfully by the compiler and a dot class file will be generated yes or no a dot class file will be generated you know this already 
after compilation dot class files will be generated how many dot class files will be generated in our case it only one because we have only one class that's why one dot class file will be generated then execution will come into the picture or the jvm will come into the picture right yes or no jvm will come into the picture so even before the jvm comes into the picture we need to do what we need to load the dot class file for that we need to give a command like java space a okay when you give this command this a dot class file will be loaded into, into the jvm and the execution will be started okay the main thread will be created main thread will get access to the main method okay so first instruction is a o b j equal to new way so main thread will recognize a constructor here see look at here especially this after the new keyword you are able to see a a opening par a opening simple bracket and a closing simple bracket this part is called as constructor okay now what exactly happen is because of this new keyword a memory will be allocated in the heap area first remember this secondly secondly what happens what is the reference variable obj okay. obj So this obj will be it won't be assigned directly why it won't be assigned directly this obj will be stored in the stack area from there it is going to generate a reference value that reference value will be assigned there for the simplicity i am doing it like this okay, don't get confused for the simplicity i am doing it like this okay just assume that obj okay. now after doing all this it will look for how many variables are there in the class how many variables are there in the class we have a equal to 100 b equal to 10.15 okay this memory will be allocated for all the variables that is available in the class a we have only two variables so for those two variables the memory gets allocated a equal to 100 followed by b equal to 10.15 f 10.15 f okay memory memory has been allocated okay after this what happens the control will be transferred to the a constructor so this is the a constructor okay so it will execute all the instructions inside the a constructor okay so execution is happening but we are not able to see that since this this constructor is placed by the compiler compiler has not placed any instructions that's why but however the control will travel okay and it will try to uh, uh, enter uh, enter this constructor block and exit the constructor constructor block but nothing will be seen in the console because no instructions are placed here okay so it is like control is going here and coming back here why it is going here because we are calling a constructor okay three uh, three things has happened here because of the new keyword memory has been created in the stack area okay because of this obj reference variable has been assigned okay and it will check for how many variables are there how many instance variable or instance variables are there okay there are two instance variables okay for that memory will be allocated okay and after that the control will be transferred to the constructor and it will come back control is trap control is going back to the constructor i mean uh, we are sending uh, the, the control is being sent to the constructor all the instructions in the constructor will be executed but there are no instructions here that's why it is coming back and output is going to be blank only but internally this thing is happening internally these many things are happening internally making sense everyone yes no people who missed the last two class will find it little confusion for others i think it is it is very clear making sense yeah so now now you see so now what i am trying to do is so i am keeping the values like a equal to 100 b equal to 100 okay now i am placing my own constructor here okay now the programmer now the programmer is placing his constructor a okay programmer has placed this constructor okay inside this constructor he is saying programmer is saying a equal to int uh, let me do this int 
t equal to 200. Now let's see what is happening behind the scenes. Okay. Sum dot out dot print lm. Okay, let me remove this for now. Focus here. Sum dot out dot print lm. This is con. Okay. So now I am placing one instruction. The instruction is sum dot obj dot a equal to 200 system dot out dot print ln obj dot a obj dot can anyone guess the output so don't get afraid when I ask you to guess the output. The only thing you have to remember is the control, the execution starts from the main method and check the number of instructions in the main method and you can imagine the output or you can take a pen and paper and you can uh, you know demonstrate it by yourself. Okay. So I have, uh, we have uh, something is happening behind the scenes. Just understand the flow and guess the output. Think like the way I have presented the Diagram with this diagrammatic illustration. Okay. I want answers from you. So not giving answers if you are finding it difficult, please post that in the chat box so that I will do the uh, like you know uh, tracing part. Okay. Can you give me the output of this program? Take your time and give me. Any answers? Any answers? You want me to do or you are doing something behind the scene? <laughs> Hello. You want me to do say something, guys? So Sveta says this is cons. Rashwan says this is cons. What about others? I got only two answers. Uh, Teja, Darshini, Madhu, uh, Chaitanya. Krishna Prasad, Jyoti S, Jyoti N, Raji B. Someone wants, okay, this is the program. Say something, guys. Yes, no, don't know, or uh, tell me something like, uh, say something. Ah, good. No, this is good. This is better. Okay, why we want to waste time? We can go for tracing. Okay, first let me give you the output. Okay, then we will go for tracing. Java C space A dot Java. Okay, no compilation. Java C space Java space A. So let me save this program. Okay. Java C space A dot Java Java space A. So this is con 210 10.5. Okay, you mentioned this thing. Let me trace this. Okay. So this is the output. Now focus here. Your attention is required. Here. Copying the same program. Good, 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 Madhu. Good, uh, Chaitanya. Okay, focus here, guys. Okay, so uh, compiler will do the compilation by adding by adding something, sir. What are those things? Okay. 
first it will check if the proper if the program is properly drafted or not okay here it is going to use what extends keyword extends object okay and uh, this class will be considered as a default class okay and it will try to add the constructor but constructor has already been added by us programmer has added the constructor okay so compilation will be successful after the successful compilation a dot class file will be generated okay after this execution will start so for execution jvm is required the jvm will try to get access to the main method okay in the main method all the instructions will get executed one by one okay now look at the first instruction first instruction says object creation new keyword we are using followed by the constructor right new keyword followed by the constructor okay and uh, for the new keyword for every new keyword in the memory area an object will be created just when i say object creation it is like memory allocation memory will be allocated for this memory there should be an address right the address is what the reference variable obj okay for the new keyword memory is created space is created okay and the name of the space is uh, assigned i mean given to obj i mean uh, the space is named as obj okay after this it will allocate memory for all the variables instance variables instance variables or non static variables when i say instance variables just look at the number of variables that is available in the class they are called as instance variables okay so there are two variables one is what a equal to 100 second one is what b equal to 10.15 15f okay after this the call is going to where going it is going to call the a constructor why a constructor so this is what we have placed here, a constructor okay the control will be transferred to the a constructor all the instructions inside the a constructor will get executed only one instruction is there this is con okay so in the console just imagine that this is a console this is con will be printed firstly right and uh, after printing this the control will go back to the same place where it was transferred okay now look at this we are saying obj dot a obj dot a it means obj dot a so we have access what we are doing we are reassigning 200 right when you say obj dot a where is obj guys this is obj the moment you use dot the moment you use dot operator and uh, followed by the variable okay so it is like you get access to the variable directly obj dot a okay we are reassigning a value 200 what happens this 100 will be erased okay and 200 will be assigned right now look at the next statement this part is done and next statement we are trying to print obj dot a what is the latest value of obj dot a 200 right 200 will be displayed in the console after that we are printing what obj dot b what is obj dot b obj access to b 10.15 right so 10.15 will be displayed in the console making sense this is one way everyone why uh, did we i mean why the output is like this is it clear now you must understand one thing you should focus like whenever i am using system dot there are two system dot out dot printer statements that are being used it means at least minimum you should you should see two values in the out, output console yes or no i forgot about this constructor at least you should i should i should see two values in the console right Making sense, who have answered it in the wrong way? Darshini, Sveta, right? Why, sir, F is not printing in the output? Okay, we have already discussed about this. F is the floating point representation. Okay, when it is being printed on the console, it will be ignored. 
okay it is it is uh, when you when you are declaring a variable for example when you are declaring a floating point variable for declaration you need to use under point yeah for declaration it is mandatory okay so when it comes to display this up will be ignored by the compiler okay any doubts okay next let us look into the next example okay so this is just the starting of constructors okay look at the theory okay these are the rules now we got to know what are the constructor rules okay the next thing is please be informed that whenever the programmer is not placing any constructor constructor compiler will place a default constructor example if i have a class here What is the default constructor for class here? Answer me. What is the default constructor for class here? If I am not placing any constructor, compiler is going to place a constructor. What is the default constructor? Yes, A. So this is the default constructor. A followed by opening and closing brackets. Yeah. Should also include the brackets. Yeah. A constructor followed by opening and closing parentheses. You should include that block as well. Yeah, good theta. Okay. So for this, the default constructor is I can say for the above class, the default constructor is going to be what? A. It should be same as a class name. So class A, A constructor. Okay. This is the typical default constructor. Right. When you are placing it, no issues. But when you don't place it, a compiler is going to place this. Compiler is going to provide what? It is going to provide a default constructor. Okay. What exactly the use of constructor? When when you are facing this question in the interview, what exactly the uses of constructor? Okay. The theory says the constructor is used to initialize the variables or to initialize the instance variables okay the focus here so we will understand this in uh, after three programs okay to initialize instance variables when i say instance variables integer a equal to 100 so this is an instance variable okay but when i do static int a equal to 100 this is not an instant instance variable. Understand? For example, let us let us say that I have a data like I have the name Ganesh, okay, and I have uh, the age twenty three. Some raw data I have name Ganesh and age twenty three, and uh, let us say that uh, the ID number is one two. Okay, these are the some raw data okay so when i want to use this raw data in java programming language i need to give a i need to this data can be identified with a variable first okay ganesh can be identified a ver with a name with a variable the variable name can be what ganesh can be identified with a variable variable name can be name itself okay. so variable name if this is an identifier this is the value okay. for this value this, if this is the variable there should be a data type also that is a rule in java data type, data type is mandatory so this is a string string type okay since it is a string type the value should be in double quotations okay and when you place this way for example when you when you want to place this uh, uh, property or the variable with in, inside a class for example when i say i have a class student okay 
now we can also call this as variable or instance variable or non static variable variable so this is within the class level but but if i use the same variable inside a method for example public static void main method main method is also a method yes or no okay if i want to use this variable inside a method then this is not, now this is not a static this is not instance variable this is called as a local variable okay and again when i use a static keyword this is also not a instance variable this is a static variable by static variable we are using a static keyword okay now we got the categorization what is the categoriz categorization for a particular variable variable is used to store a particular data specific data in our case i am taking i am considering ganesh as a data ganesh is a name so name is identifier and it is of uh, which data type string data type okay so the moment when i say instance variable okay it should be placed outside a method and inside the class don't you think that this variable is outside not under any method scope it is independent of method scope it is outside method but inside class such type of variables are called as what instance variables or non static variables the same variable and again when you want to place a variable with a static keyword okay then it is called as it is specifically called a static variable but when you use the same variable inside a method that is called as local variable now do you understand the difference between instance variable static variable and local variable everyone yes no right so this is making sense okay so that's what it says the constructor is used to initialize what the instance variable sir we got to know what is instance variable but we don't know what is this the constructor is used to initialize the instance we don't know what is this now we will going we are going to understand this now okay let me go back to the program okay so now now you see guys some interesting thing will happen so can anyone tell me what is the output for this program can anyone tell me what is the output for this program same control flow the con there is no uh, changes in the control flow control flow is always going to be same but you want to i want you to tell me the output of this following program okay let this should be a constructor Do you have answers for this? Any idea? Just remember one thing. There is no values for A and B. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. What is the output? Chaitanya says default value. I, I think, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, this is the... Yeah, you all have your own answers. Okay, but I think Madhu has got the right answer. 0 and 0 0.0 0 f okay it cannot be blank darshani why it cannot be blank? no it cannot be blank remember one thing every time i, I will be uh, telling you the same thing okay but you are forgetting this what is it the moment you see see there are two system dot order printer and statements here okay and uh, so i am trying to uh, add a value inside okay it means something will be displayed in the console it cannot be blank right okay let me trace this focus here very very important i will stop tracing after some time because you should put your reports okay same thing so don't you think that control will start from main method okay first instruction is because of new keyword okay an object will be created inside the memory and what is the reference variable for this particular object obj is a reference variable you know this already you need to take a pen and paper and need to do every time and i ask you a question if you are not doing this your guesses will be not correct okay? 
So now uh, a constructor is being called okay before that how many instance variables are there first you answer that to me how many instance variables are there in this particular class answer it to me first two instance variables right one is a and second one is b but we did not assign any value right a equal to so see we have performed the declaration but we did not do any initialization okay by by default the default values will be assigned to this respective variables what is the default value for a a is of what type integer type for integer type the default value is always zero okay what is the default value of b b is of float type for b the default value is 0 0.0 f okay default values are assigned and after this constructor call constructor call is happening right constructor call is happening. now you understand one thing this value assignation and the constructor call will happen at the same time what does it really means who is assigning this default value question sir you are assigning this default value is that your answer actually who is assigning this default values we know default values of integer is 0 and the part float it is 0 0.0 who is actually assigning this default values this default constructor is actually assigning this default internally compiler is going to invoke this default constructor this default constructor is responsible to assign default values to the variables when the actual values are not assigned let me repeat default constructor is going to assign the default values when the actual values are not assigned or not declared or not initialized to the respective instance variables right so by looking at this you can say that since values are not assigned default values are being assigned but who is assigning that the constructor is assigning that the constructor is actually assigning that internally there is a logic we don't see that logic we are blind to that logic something is happening behind the scenes what is that something this default arrangement this default values arrangement is taken care by the default constructor right after this what happens we are trying to access obj obj dot a what is obj dot a obj dot a zero what is obj dot b next line is obj dot b 0, 0.0 f f will be ignored by the uh what are the during the execution because it is being displayed in the console internally f will be stored but while displaying it in the console f will be ignored if i run this i should get 0 and 0 0.0 f let me save this Zero and 0 and 0.0 f will be ignored making sense when you assign no issues but when you don't assign default values will be printed right so let me take one more example so here i am adding a string e something okay so now i am trying to access now you think and answer me obj dot c okay think and answer me don't, don't just answer me like that obj dot a equal to 100 obj dot c equal to So what is the output of this following code? Okay, my code is visible, I think. Huh? Can you give me the output of this following code? Take pen and paper and do the tracing by yourself, you will get the output for sure. Don't do the imagination. Only I have answer 100, 0, 0, Ganesh. Good job, yes. Good. What about others? 
100 0 0.0 ganesh what about others do you agree with these answers everyone good 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 let me run this Hundred zero point zero Ganesh. Hundred zero point zero Ganesh. Okay, you got the same answers. Good. Hundred zero point zero Ganesh. Okay. So now, now the actual picture. Okay. The reason I have explained you a lot of things before even starting about the constructor. Okay. So look at this once again. Okay. Go back to the theory. Theory says what? The constructor is used to initialize the instance variables. Constructor is used to initialize the instance variables. Okay, so let me take a real time example here. Okay, for example, since you are the college, most of them are uh, college students. Okay, let us assume that uh, you have just completed your higher education and you are applying for your, uh, I mean, you are applying for a particular uh, department or particular degree in your college. Okay, this is your college. Okay, when you visit this college, so each and every student, they are going to get a form form is when student one is let us say that when darshini is visiting okay darshini will get a form form from the college management uh, when uh, jyoti is visiting jyoti will get a form from the college management when uh, sashwant is visiting sashwant will get a form from the college management okay in these forms they ask you to fill the details about you right let us assume that so they want you to fill only two details two information one is your name Second one is your age. Okay, so each each one of you, okay, you want to take admissions on a specific college. Okay, you are given a form, and the management wants you to fill your name and the age. Usually they will ask for everything marks and all. Okay, for our understanding, I am taking it at name and age. Okay, even though so this college has been visited by three persons in this case, right? Even though for three persons, the same form. For thousand persons, the form is going to be same. Do you think the form is going to be different? Form is going to they form, they are going to maintain the same form for uh, all the visitors or for all for all the uh, what we call it as the pioneers means people who want to take the admission. Okay, if that is the case. Even for thousand students, the form is going to be same. But what information they are going to look into? They are going to look into only two information: the form name and the age. Okay. Now, if you want, if I want to convert this analogy to the Java programming language, this each and every form is going to represent a constructor. Each and every form is going to represent a constructor. Right? The details inside the each and every form, I mean, the uh, what the name is, one property, the age is, these are called as what the instance variables. Let me repeat. The form that I am talking about is a constructor. The details that you are giving inside the form is what? The instance variables. You are assigning these values to the instance variables. Okay. So these are the properties. Name is a property and the age is a property. This is going to be same for n number of students, no matter what. Right? So if I want to convert this to a Java class, okay, I can convert this to a Java class by assuming what? My class should have two properties, name property and the age property, right? So I have a class, class is what student. Okay, in the student class, how many properties I have? Integer name, name equal to. Uh, so it should be. Uh, I should not initialize the name. And next one is what? Integer, not integer name. Sorry guys, it will be string name. The name is should always be string type. String name and integer age. Okay, I have one class, student class or. Uh, uh, you know let us say student class so each and every student okay who want to take admission they want to fill a form form as the name property and the age property okay so i have said that each and every form is going to act like a constructor okay the moment you call the constructor for example this is student class right so i will be using what the student construct student obj equal to new student okay you should be calling this constructor in such a way that for example, if student instead of OBJ, I am using Darshini. Okay. Darshini. Student Darshini is going to do what? So Darshini is going to collect the form and add two informations. 
name and the age okay instead of that let me take uh, student go uh, to student one the student one has come student one as is going to submit two information what are the two information name and the age okay so the name uh, the student is going to submit the name and the age in this constructor i said that this is going to be act like a constructor right this everything is going to be act like a constructor constructor one constructor two constructor three so i am specifically talking about darshini darshini is going to say what hey my name is darshini okay so darshini is going to say my name is darshini not by uh, pronunciation or not by words she she will create a constructor in the java language it says my name is darshini okay and uh, my age is something like 19 years okay so this is done one object is done created if you want us to create second object second object i need to call second constructor so this time another student student shashwa or student two we don't know usually we uh, we take names in the form of forms right so that's why student two student two is going to collect the form or is going to use the constructor form is also called as constructor in our example okay, student is going to enter is uh, what enter the details in the form what are the details hey my name is shashwa okay my uh, age is 20 okay if you see here we are using only two variables but on top of these two variables don't you think that we can use we can create object by using constructor for n number of students it is not like for darshini i i you know it is not like for darshini i am taking a separate string name i'm assigning the value darshini directly right and for the second student i should create another variable name without any duplication so name one for the third student name uh, name two if they go like this don't you think that uh, uh, the variables will be increased the number of lines in the code is going to get increased for thousand students how many variables i need two thousand variables i need don't you think but for the thousand students i am going to use the same variable but i can manipulate with the values i think you are i hope you are getting this yes no any confusion are we good so far answer from everyone <laughs> yeah so see now 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 let us understand this in the program and the representation okay so let me remove this let me take the student example itself okay student okay. how many properties the student is going to have according to our form according to our admission form the college management requires only two fields what are they the name field okay the age field okay so name is always going to be in the form of string type right anywhere string okay age is always going to be in the form of what type integer okay so i have just did the declaration okay these are the fields that is placed inside the form example here now now what's happening student uh, student one comes okay student so i should create an object for the class student right student you can say s1 s1 means student one you can take whatever it is for the simplicity i'm taking it as s1 equal to new student. okay what i'm going to do here now focus i will initialize this name and age here name and age let me repeat this is the student constructor okay i will pass the data by using the constructor this is the constructor inside this constructor i will pass my name why i will pass my name that is what this is expecting name so in our case in our example that's name name is passed and i need to also pass the age why the name is in the double quotes because string type age is in the form of integer type so let me take it as 20 okay this information is passed 
okay now you tell me this is what type this is constructor right student so far the constructor is all about what a opening parenthesis and a closing nothing is constructor is empty the block of the constructor no the parameter of the constructor is empty so far so far it is empty now in our case i am passing value so i am passing two values first value is in the form of string type second value is in the form of what type integer type it means i should create a constructor which is accepting so this is an ordinary constructor but this time i need to create a constructor which is accepting two arguments argument one in the form of string type that's why i'm going to use one string name argument two so what integer type integer age okay now what now now what is happening something is happening behind the scenes okay when uh, so let us uh, do the tracing till here okay for the better understanding let's do the tracing till here okay the, i mean uh, you may get logged out of this uh, lobby try to do the rejoin okay don't mind please rejoin this very important topic okay don't assume that the classes are over so let us do the tracing till here okay so what exactly would happen behind the scenes main method gets executed only one instruction is there in the main method okay instruction says object creation i am using new keyword for the new keyword one memory block will be created okay and the reference variable is going to be what s1 yes, right after this what i will what will happen instance variables there are two instance variables name name equal to what so it is default right the default value will be a same null for string the default value is null for age age is of integer type default value is going to be zero okay now uh, now see this constructor is going to carry two values one value is darshini because student constructor we are calling and we are passing two values here so darshini and 20 so this constructor is going to carry what darshini and Okay, I hope everyone are in. Okay, my screen is visible now, just confirm this. Okay, so I was saying okay uh, the uh, so if the control is going to call the constructor okay the control is going to call the constructor while calling the constructor this is not an ordinary constructor this is a parameterized constructor why parameterized constructor we are passing two two values unlike in our previous examples the the constructor was completely empty it, it was not parameterized no values are no values were passed in our previous examples this is the first time we are passing two values what are they Darshini and comma 20. Okay. So this constructor will carry, it will, uh, the control will go to the constructor, respective constructor. Okay. This Darshini will be assigned to this variable. This variable, variable that is specified in the student, student constructor, not this variable, this variable. Okay. This 20 will be assigned to the variable that is over here okay, values are just assigned okay and the nothing is there to uh, be displayed no instructions are specified in this constructor it will come back okay these are the changes in the memory okay, now i am doing i am doing what 
I want to transfer this value. So these values are with the constructor now. Yes or no? The values that was carried by this control is uh, given to this constructor. But I want to transfer these values over here. So Darshini should be placed here. Okay. And 20 should be placed here. How do we how do I how do we achieve that? That is the question. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is now now uh, let us go back to our uh, program. Okay. So this is also the, the name of the variable is name itself. Okay, this is also same. Age, age. Both are same. Okay. I want to assign the value that is stored by this particular variable name to this variable name, to the instance variables. So local variable, I mean constructor variable to the instance variable. How can I do that? Okay, if I do so one more example, I'm telling I'm telling you. When I say name, assign this name, assign this, assign the value of this name. I mean, okay, in, this, in our case, it is Darshani. Okay, assign the value of this name to the class level variables. This is also name. name is getting assigned to name why both are same type both mean uh, the, uh, the reference variable name is same right so there is a confusion for us only the compiler will also feel the same con same confusion you need to tell the compiler okay the value that i am receiving here should be transferred to the variable that is placed in the class level the value that i am receiving here in this case darshani be transferred to the class level variable what is the class level variable name? Name. I will just use this keyword. I will tell you what is this. I will tell you what is this. What did I just use? I will tell you what is this. Again, this confusion is created, right? Okay. So let me do this now. Test one. I am just testing this, okay? Test 1 and test 2. Okay, if I run this, we will get some output. The output is not relevant to our current program. Okay, one minute. This is test 1. So, since it's of, this is of integer type, let me take it as 100. To save this. dot out of print ln s1 dot name in a focus here guys from dot out dot print ln s1 dot age Why this is coming as an output 100 containers? I need to. I have already saved this file. Save us. A dot Java. Okay, this should be student, right? Student dot. Java. File name should be same as the class name. Java C space student dot Java. Java space student. Okay, test 100 we have we have got an irrelevant answer okay now let's see what is happening this after that i will do a little modification then this will be cluster clear the okay, same code let me uh, use the paint brush okay for the tracing purpose okay, same example same code okay so directly i'm jumping into the execution part the okay, first line says uh, object is being created why object is being created new keyword we are using okay so for the new keyword memory gets allocated the reference variable name is what s1 okay after this uh, the memory gets allocated for all the instance variables okay so we haven't specified any variable any value to this instance variables 
So for the name, the value is going to be null. Why null? That is the default value of string. For age, the value is going to be zero. Why zero? That is the default value of integer. Okay. After this, the control is going to get transferred to the constructor, respective constructor. Okay. It will carry this Darshini and twenty. The values will be carried by this control. What are those values? Darshini, comma twenty. Okay. These values are getting transferred here. And this value Darshini will be assigned to this name variable. Okay. And uh, 20 value 20 will be assigned to the age variable. Now the uh, name is uh, uh, storing. This variable name is storing Darshini, but this variable is storing 20. Here what I am doing? There is a random value test one. Okay, I am assigning this random value test one to one to name to this dot name when i say this dot name okay it is like transferring this value to this variable okay when i use this dot age okay it will find for the instance variables in the class i have already said what are the instance variables when i use this it will find for the instance variables or class level variables Okay, this dot age will find for the class level variable name of of what type integer type. Okay, so this is referring to this. This dot age is referring to this. Okay, what we are doing? Assign test to one to this name variable. Assign value hundred to this age variable. Okay, in the memory, null will be replaced with test one. Okay, and uh, zero will be replaced with what? Twenty, not not hundred. Okay. So this is done. After that, I am accessing s one dot name. S one dot name is test one. S one dot age. S one dot age is hundred. That's why we got what? An, uh, test one hundred. But we need to get Darshini and twenty. That's our intention. We need to get Darshini and twenty. How to do that? Instead of us, instead of using test one here, I can directly use this name only. You know? Instead of using test one, let me remove this. If I use this name, the value that is getting stored here will be assigned to this variable. Okay. If I use age, the value that is getting stored here will be will be assigned to this variable. We are collecting variables, we are collecting values from the constructor. Okay, and again these values are getting assigned to the class level variables. You are transferring the data to the class level variables. Transferring is happening here. When you do the transferring, okay, you use what this keyword. When you use this keyword, assign this variable to the class level variables. As simple as that. There is a confusion. Is the confusion is getting created. Why confusion is getting created? This variable is also same name name. This variable is also same age age. Okay, these values are collected in the constructor. The Darshini is collected by the Darshini is collected and stored inside the name variable, and the value twenty is collected and stored in the age variable. And again, we are reassigning this variable to the class level variables. Here, Darshini is collected, right? This value is again getting reassigned to what? This dot name. It means transfer this data to the class level variable. And again, second value age twenty. Okay, transfer this twenty value to the class level variable. Collection is happening here, collecting here and storing it here, storing it here, and then transferring it to the class level variables. Right. So let us trace this example. You will get, you will get an idea. Okay, this is our example. How we focus? We will get this. Okay, so what we have just did again. I let me start from the main method. Okay, uh, object is getting created. Okay, the reference variable is what? S one. Right, and firstly, uh, it will allocate memory for the instance variables. Okay. So when I say instance variables, I am talking about these variables, the class level variables, the variables that are placed outside the method. 
okay what are the variables that we have name we have what so default values will be assigned for name it's null for age the default value is what zero not for zero not for age for the integer data type it's zero for string data type it's null okay after this the constructor code it will identify the student constructor which is taking two values one is one value is in the form of string second value is in the form of integer that's identified okay so when the control is transferred it will also carry what the data what is the data that we have here the shini we have followed by 20 okay this data will be carried by this control and it will be assigned to the assigned to these variables these variables okay now name will be what darshini okay the name will be darshini and uh, age will be what only okay these variables are collected and stored inside this respective variables of constructor these are the variables of constructor but we want to reassign this to the class level variables you know we want to transfer these values to what to the class level variables okay Darshini should be transferred here and uh, value i mean uh, the age 20 should be what should also be transferred here so the first line the control uh, will again come into the constructor first line says Darshini is getting transferred to the class level variable so the null will be replaced by Darshini now The second line says uh, value 20 is the age which was collected by the constructor variable and it is getting transferred to the class level variable. 20 will be transferred to the class level variable. So the default value 0 will be replaced by what? 20. Okay. Now we try to print this. Don't you think that s1 not dot name equal to Tarshani? S1 dot age equal to 20. Yes or no? Let me run this. Are we getting the same answer or no? That's need only. Okay, now you see the uh, you see the idea. Here. This is for one student, student one. Okay, I can repeat the same thing for the second student. So second student is coming for the admission. I am asking to fill the details. Okay, the person, the student number now now S two, S two is Saswan. Saswan has given his name and his age. Okay, now I am trying to access S two dot name, S two dot age. Okay. what happens in the memory level okay and again an object will be created and this time this object is going to be what s2 s2 okay the values will be what same thing name firstly null will be initialized second age what uh, zero will be initialized after this we are transferring the data which is what just one Second one is what? Age is going to be what? 20. Right? So do, do, don't you think that I have the specific values? I have the specific values. If I if I access S2, I am getting details of S1. If I access S1, I am getting details of what? Darshini. It's just like a form, no? Don't you think, no? When I access form 1, form 1 was filled by Darshini. So I will get Darshini details. When I access form 2, S1 details. Don't you think that can I... Can I create n number of forms here, n number of objects here? But the vari the but the variables are always same. With the two variables, I am able to create n number of objects. Now I can create S3. But the variable names are same, right? S3. This time I can use what? Uh, finish. 21. Okay, now I will get access to the Ganesh values. Now you tell me the output. So just I am using S4, okay. S4 uh, dot name, S4 dot age. Only one line of code I have given. What is output now?
गणेश ट्वेंटी वन गणेश ट्वेंटी वन गेस करेक्ट 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 तो विथ वन मीन दी विथ टू वेरिएबल्स ओनली आई हैव टू वेरिएबल्स एंड आई हैव वन कंस्ट्रक्टर बट आई एम एबल टू क्रिएट एन नंबर ऑफ कॉपीज राइट विथ हेल्प ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट एन नंबर ऑफ कॉपीज एट द सेम टाइम आई एम एबल टू असाइन वैल्यूज टू ईच एंड एवरी प्रॉपर्टीज इट इज नॉट लाइक फॉर थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स आई डो नॉट हैव टू टेक टू थाउजेंड प्रॉपर्टीज properties are fixed same properties getting manipulated for each and every object same example the college admission example right for a college if you go visit the college for the admission they give you the form okay each and every form is representing like a constructor okay the details that you are going to fill in the form is going to represent what properties okay by using uh, that is the analogy that i have just applied here now the now don't you think that this uh, instruction is making some sense now the constructor is used to initialize the instance variables when someone is asking about what is a constructor the one line answer only one line answer the constructor is used to initialize the instance variables the follow up question can be rules could be the follow up question could be same as the class name these are the additional things the one answer only one line answer a direct answer in any any interview What is a constructor? It is used to initialize instance variables. What is use of constructor? It is used to initialize instance variables. Making sense, everyone? Yes, no. So there will be three more classes on top of constructors. Okay, you will get complete picture on constructor. You can answer any interview question on top of constructor. I will give you that guarantee. 